Does the whale swim deep enough to show authentic emotional depth? Luckily for you, I got a system to make that simple to figure out. Let's talk about the director first, then break it down. The Whale was directed by Darren Aronofsky, who's also responsible for the movie Mother. He's the type of director that tends to gravitate towards unconventional stories and interesting ways of telling them. This film is no exception. It has strong themes and a brilliant cast. As of today, it has made over $38 million worldwide. So let's take a deep dive, get in touch with our feelings, and rate this film. I need to know that I have done one thing right with my life. Let's use my Waves rating system, which stands for writing, acting, visuals, editing, and sounds. The maximum score for each category is five points, then we round up the average to get our final rating. Simple, right? Let's get started with the writing. The Whale tells the story of a 600 pound man named Charlie who's desperately trying to reconnect with his estranged teenage daughter. This film is unconventional in its approach to storytelling, with a non-linear narrative and heavy use of symbolism. The dialogue is powerful and emotional, and the characters are complex and well-developed. I'm gonna have to give the writing a four. Moving on to the acting. Starting off with our main cast, we have Brendan Fraser, who delivers a stunning performance as Charlie, showcasing total resignation and vulnerability with this character. People are amazing. We also have Hung Chow adeptly playing his best friend Liz, who embodies both roles of caretaker and enabler simultaneously. <laughs> Then we have Sadie Sink portraying his daughter Ellie, with incredible disdain shrouding her profound empathy for others. Are you actually trying to parent me right now? The rest of the supporting cast also gives standout performances that bring the story to life, leading me to give the acting a perfect score of five. Let's talk about the visuals. Beautiful cinematography and expertly crafted sets that help to create that sense of intimacy, darkness, and isolation. The use of VFX is minimal but effective adding to the overall mood of the film. The prosthetics were carefully crafted and applied, enhancing the believability of the main character. I would say the visuals were a solid four. Let's jump to the editing. The editing of this film is expertly done, with pacing that keeps the story moving forward while still allowing for moments of reflection and introspection. This movie has a runtime of almost two hours, but you barely notice it since you get so invested in the character stories and relationships. There are even clever uses of similar shots to showcase the emotional states of different characters. I think the editing also deserves a solid four. Think about the truth of your argument. Now let's talk about the sounds. The film's soundtrack and score were haunting and emotional, adding to the overall tone of the atmosphere of the film. Subtle sound effects and even moments of silence would enhance certain scenes. There's a lot of <sighs> heavy breathing in this film, so be ready for that. I would say the sounds were also a four. Who would want me to be a part of their life? And now we come to the final rating. Did this film swim deep into the depths of emotion? You bet your tears it did. I give The Whale a score of four out of five. This film's a powerful and emotional journey that is sure to leave a lasting impact. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Stay tuned for more Omni reviews. And as always, keep your mind sharp and your eyes peeled.